Hello everyone, welcome to topic of the day. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the African swine fever. So recently, the African swine fever has been confirmed for the first time at a private pig farm in Kerala. That is after more than 15 pigs on the farm had died. So let us discuss about the African swine fever. First of all, it is highly contagious and fatal animal disease that infects domestic and wild pigs. It was first detected in Kenya in the year 1909 and currently found in Asia, Europe and Africa. If you talk about its cause, it is a large DNA virus of the S. Viridae family, an only virus with a double-stranded DNA genome known to be transmitted by anthropods. It affects domestic as well as wild pigs. If we talk about the symptoms, it includes weight loss, intermittent fever, respiratory signs, chronic skin ulcers and arthritis. It also includes acute forms characterized by anorexia, loss of appetite and hemorrhages in the skin. If we talk about its transmission, it is through natural hots, that is warthogs, bush pigs and ticks acting as vectors and by direct and indirect contact with the infected pigs, their feces and body fluids. There hasn't been any approved vaccine as of now. If we talk about the public health risk, it is not risky for humans. Now, how it is different from the classical swine fever? The determination of African swine fever is made through laboratory testing and it is differentiated from classical swine fever whose signs may be similar to ASF. It can hamper global food security and household income. If we talk about the preventive steps, firstly, classic sanitary measures, early detection and a check on the killing of animals. Secondly, proper scanning and guarding of national parks, wildlife sanctuaries and reserve forests for this disease. Now, if we talk about the classical swine fever, it is an important disease, hawk cholera, which is an important disease of pigs. It is caused by a virus of genus Pestivirus of the family Flaviviridae, which is closely related to the virus that causes bovine viral diarrhea in cattle. The mortality rate of classic swine fever is 100%. Now let us talk a bit about the World Organization for Animal Health. It is an intergovernmental organization responsible for improving animal health worldwide. It was established as Office International des Episodes, OIE, in January 1924 and got its current name in May 2003. It is recognized as a reference organization by the World Trade Organization. There are 182 member countries and it is headquartered in Paris. If we talk about the finances of the World Organization for Animal Health, it has a compulsory annual finance and also voluntary contributions by the governments. So this was a little bit about the African swine fever. Now let us take up one practice question on this topic. With reference to the African swine fever, consider the following statements. First, it is the only virus with a double-stranded DNA genome. Second, it is also called hog cholera. Now which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So as we know, only the first statement is correct. That is, it is the only virus with a double-stranded DNA genome. So therefore, the correct answer is option A only. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.